Now, today we're going to talk about Northern European countries, and in particular we're going to talk about three Northern European countries, Republic of Ireland, Norway and Sweden. And Mr. O'Mandy, if you could possibly extract your index finger out of your nose for a minute and pay me some attention. Thank you very much. Now, the Republic of Ireland has a population of about 4.5 million people. We have some of the richest fishing grounds in the world. We now have proven reserves of both oil and gas. And more recently, we have proven reserves of shale gas. Now, Ireland is currently in the middle of a deep recession because of the severe austerity being imposed on the people by the government. A lot of Irish people are suffering nowadays. And in the midterm, it's not looking good. Ireland is a member of the EU. Now, Norway is a similar sized country to Ireland in terms of population, with about 5 million people. And Norway also has a tremendous fishing industry, proven reserves of oil and gas. Norway is the richest country in the world. Its citizens enjoy some of the best living standards in the world. Norway is not a member of the EU. Michael, you have a question. Sir, why is it that Norway is rich and Ireland is poor if we have oil and gas and loads of fish like they have? I don't know. I, unfortunately, I can't answer that question. I think we must be doing something very badly wrong in Ireland. Pat, your question. Sir, if Ireland just did the same thing as Norway, would we be rich also? Again, I don't know. Unfortunately, I can't answer these questions. I am a geography teacher. You need to ask these questions of the politicians who are running our country. Going back to Sweden, as I said, a population of around 9.5 million, export economy with iron ore, timber, hydropower...